Hey, what's going on guys? This is Paul Michael Rudy. Another update of my WWF Hasbro wrestling figures. Um, so far guys, my journey is, is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm picking up carded stuff. I'm picking up loose stuff. Um, from my previous video, you guys know that I always buy them to trade them and sell them. But recently, I've kind of thought to myself, you know, like I said in the other video, that I want to keep certain ones. And now I've decided that I want to get them all. So at the moment, I'll probably buy doubles. But, you know, I'm going by condition with some of them. So if I have some with a few marks, then I'll change it for a better one, vice versa. Yeah. Okay, so at the moment, these are my ones of the loose figures I've had turn up today, um, which we're going to go through them. The carded ones turned up about two, three days ago, which are pretty good. So I'm going to start off first with the carded one. Let's go for the carded one, yeah? So you put the carded one up here, which is pretty cool. Problem is it's in Spanish, which is a bit annoying. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, World Wrestling Federation stands as English. And then you got the W, which is pretty cool, and Jake. So the only thing realistically is just the name is, you know, in Spanish. That's all. Nothing more. Pretty cool. Um, which, a bit annoying, was there's a bit of slit just here. If you guys can see that. It's a bit of a slit just there. Which is a bit annoying. But for what? Oh, God. I'm dropping it. But for what I traded it for, it's not bad at all. So I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Move on to the next one. Okay, Brutus the Barber Briefcake. Now, I, I traded it with the same guy. So, it's in Spanish again. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Brutus, but I'm not a massive fan. But at the same point is, uh, it's a carded figure. So, I'm not going to say no. It's pretty cool. Okay, I might be getting Dusty Roads. And just to let you guys know, hopefully, I should be getting the 1, 2, 3 kid. Which is a very rare one. Very, very rare. Okay, some loose ones. Lex Luger. Uh, mechanism, you know, can hold you up and, yeah, slam me down. Put him up here on the pedestal, which is pretty cool. Hold him up. Yeah, Lex Luger is in good condition. Yeah, I quite like Lex Luger. Yeah, it's pretty good. Lex Luger is pretty cool. Good wrestler. This one is actually the Narcissist one. So it's Narcissist Lex Luger. Okay. Um, I can't remember whether they actually did like the uh, American what version of him. Like, um, oh, what is it? When he did the Express fan. You got, you guys know what I'm about. Big W fans. Where he, where he was going with the Lex Express. There we go. Because uh, he changed from heel to face. So I don't know if they did the figure a Hasbro figure, you know, a face one, but I'll check it out, I'll research, it's all good. Okay, what else we got in here? A million dollar man, yeah, tent DBST, pretty cool, comes with a belt, uh, it's got a little bit of play wear on there, it's nothing too bad, uh, hopefully I'll be getting another one of these, so I'll just buy another one, it's not a problem, yeah, I do regular toy hunt, so hopefully I'll get another one of those. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, this one's pretty cool, uh, I've just got in from work again, <laughs> and I was just cleaning these up, I gave them a good clean, and I was mucking about with my partner, and I was just like, do you remember you used to do this, and it just clicked her right in the face, so, <laughs> these are pretty lethal, absolute Jesus, see what I mean, absolutely lethal, but they're fun, and to be honest with you, playing with these as a kid, they never ever broke, I've never had one that broke, a bit of rattling inside, but that's about it. Very built, very good, but they're good. They're awesome. I absolutely love them, and they're still popular to this day now. Okay, what else we got in there? Ah, there we go. Now this one, I think, is Sid Vicious. I know it's Sid because you had Sid Vicious, uh, and then you had Psycho Sid. But I know this one's definitely Sid Vicious uh, because he didn't change over to Psycho Sid until later on. So this one's definitely Sid Vicious. I can tell by the, the stupid air. But it's pretty cool. Same mechanism as Lex Luger. Which is pretty cool. It's in good condition. Okay. And we're going for another one. Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Which is pretty cool. His tag team partner was the Rocket Owen Hart. 
and they had the same sort of uh, gear as well, which is pretty cool. This guy here, there's a mechanism where his waist goes like that, and he can flip like that, which is pretty cool. Jimmy Anthem like that. Oops, flipping now, dropping them. Yep, Jimmy Anthem like that. Yep, Jesus, what's going on? That's the problem when you do all these shifts, and you come out and try to do a video, it just, just doesn't go too well. But so far, so good, I think. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. This one's pretty cool. Uh, I've got the other one with the blue tights. No t -shirt, no uh, vest top, sorry. This one actually comes with a flag, but this one hasn't. So I'm going to have to try and find it, the accessory. It's pretty cool in the back, which I like it. Uh, the other one that I have got, which you guys will know, it's quite a uh, common one. It actually comes with a 2x4, which is pretty cool. I think this one comes with a 2x4 and a flag. So hopefully I'll get them too. Okay. And then we've got Cold Cold Beware, which is pretty cool. Same sort of mechanism as the Warrior. Um, awesome figure. It's got a few little marks, but it's going to sound pretty bad. It's brown, so you don't really see it as much, which is pretty cool. But then you see that big spot there, but you can always say it's a tattoo. Anyway, moving on, a bit of humor in there. He's missing his, um, I can't remember what it was, Parrot or whatever it was. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to try and see if I can find one of them. But I'm going to keep going. My Hasbro journey has not come to an end. Here we go, Yukazuna. Now, Yukazuna, you've seen in the other video. I did. Uh, and I told you that I should have another Yukazuna come in. Here you go. I can't, remember, I can't remember I said that. But I know I did say that I should have another Yukazuna. Some, some right. Anyway, anyway, the matter. But anyway, this is Yukazuna. It's pretty cool. This one is actually going to be for sale. So this one is actually going to go on my page for sale because... I've already got a Yukazuna, but like I say, I like to buy doubles, so this one will be for trade or buy, whatever you want to do. It's pretty cool, so it's not as bad. It's just his face has got a bit of funny colour, but that's sunlight, I think. Okay, sorted. And then we have the model, Rick the Mother Montel, which is pretty cool. He's, uh, I think he's got the mechanism like that. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Hair looks slick. Yep, yeah, pretty cool figure. Okay. And then this one I'm a bit gutted about, which is the Macho Man Randy Savage. It was the main one I was looking forward to, to be honest with you, to get. Uh, the reason why I'm gutted about it is because his finger's missing. As you can see, it's broke off there. So his finger's missing there. Yeah, he's got quite a little bit of play wear. But it's not so bad. I've gave him a bit of a clean. He looked worse than what it was. Through to dust and so on. But it's not too bad. It's all right. I can get another one. This is just the thing. You never say never. When you toy hunt, you never know what you can find. So it's never say never. You just have to go with it. But I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. He's got a broken finger, but he's still a legend. It could be a lot worse. He could have a missing head or somebody's head could have fell off in postage or something stupid like that. It's more like what happened, but you never know. There we go. Okay. And then we have another one, which is actually going to go for sale because I've got him already. And I'm doing a double thing again, which is Crush, Demolition. This figure's pretty cool. Um, I don't know why, but it was hard for me to get Crush at one point. I don't know why. Um, so, uh, took, I don't know how long it took me. It probably took me ages to find Crush because I kept on getting Axe and Smash, but I could never get Crush. But then I eventually found Crush which is pretty cool, but now I've got all three demolition. Only problem is I haven't got the accessories that come with them. So that's something that I need to get, but it's all on my list, which is pretty cool. Okay. And last one, which I'm adding to my collection is Hakim. I've had this one many times before. Hakim, pretty cool. Just the head butt, hold them and he goes forward, boom, uh, which is pretty cool. Hakeem, I actually might be buying a Legend series of him um, at some point, but I'm not too sure. Um, but that is all my figures for now. So, okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, my Retromania page will be updated. My YouTube page is going to be updated uh, regularly. I have only just posted a video up uh, yesterday of bobbleheads so you know check that out i've got loads of other videos um and subscribe have fun let me know what you guys think if you want any let me know if you're trying to get hold of any figures and you want to know if i, if I pick any up along my way 
then just give us a shout out no problem okay thank you very much hope you enjoyed the video once again god bless take care bye bye